everyone and welcome back to my channel Times of Refreshing with Joanne Bateman. I am Joanne Bateman and I am um, sharing this week's video. Um, it's going to be all about my experience with intermittent fasting and I really believe in my heart and I hope I'll be able to explain what I mean in detail but I really believe that intermittent fasting the Lord used it to save my life. I know that sounds pretty strong, but I really believe that. And so um, I just want to share some things with you. But before I go into the specifics of what I did through or what I've been doing through intermittent fasting, I want to take a moment to talk about how I got to the point of even knowing about intermittent fasting. So for me, back on September the 8th, um, I was in a prayer meeting and it was a morning prayer meeting, a Wednesday morning prayer meeting that I love. I'm in it every Wednesday morning and it's so, it's just life for me. And, but anyway, I was in that prayer meeting and um, our leader was talking about uh, Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year holiday. And it had been the previous day, uh, September the 7th of uh, 2022, excuse me, 2021. And uh, so anyway, we were talking about Rosh Hashanah and the Lord began to stir in me and minister to me about the Jewish New Year. And he began to speak to me specifically about new beginnings for me. And he began to show me, OK, yesterday was Rosh Hashanah, which was the Jewish, the start of the Jewish New Year. But then today being the eighth of the month of September, eighth being new beginnings. And then all of a sudden, just in my heart, I just felt God speak to me and saying he was going to make all things new. And so I wrote that in my journal. I have my journal right in front of me. You can't see it because of the way the uh, camera is positioned. But the Lord began to speak to me and he said he was going to make all things new. And I've heard that before. You know, the word of God even speaks about him making all things new. Um, however, this was a rhema for me. It was a rhema word for me. And I knew in my heart of hearts that God was going to do something special for me. He was going to make all things new for me. And that's exactly what he did. And so from that point until about the end of September, uh, the Lord had begun to uh, introduce me through YouTube to different, uh, I guess, um, folks who share um about intermittent fasting because there's a lot of information on YouTube about intermittent fasting. But there was one um, channel in particular that was uh, for me that felt like it was God's anointing resting on it just for me. And that channel was Dr. Sten, S-T-E-N Eckberg, E-C-K-B-E-R-G. Dr. Sten Eckberg. And Dr. Eckberg talked about intermittent fasting from a very... Um, scientific way. He talked about what intermittent fasting would do in my body and how it would help my body. And so, and, and what my body, how my body would respond and the types of things I could expect. And um, in addition to, of course, talking about the particulars of how to start it and, and what it means to fast and all of that. And so I began to explore that and, um, and, and started on a path of, of going down that intermittent fasting path. And then I got sick. The end of September, uh, last week of September, I got sick with a lot of allergies and asthma, sinus stuff, and sent me to the emergency room two nights in a row. And it was very scary. I thought I was having a heart episode, but they confirmed it was not some heart episode. It was just allergies and asthma. And so um, I was able to get the helps that I needed, but that scared me a little bit. It caused me to um, just take inventory and what I realized is that uh, the Lord had been speaking to my heart all along about fasting. And he had been nudging me for months, even before the September 8th re uh, realization or revelation. He had been nudging me for months to fast. And it was a very specific fast. And he was calling me to a juice fast, juiced only fast. And for me, um, that's hard. OK, I'm just going to keep it 100. Juice only fasting a juice, I'm speaking of fresh, whole food juices, not what you buy at the grocery store, not that, but fresh, whole food juices made from um, fresh fruits and vegetables. And like I've shown and demonstrated on my um, on my channel with other videos, but he was calling me to that type of fast back 
even before September the 8th. And I knew I, I kept feeling the nudge, but I would I would start and then I would I would adjust it. I would hear the Lord say one thing. This is in hindsight, right? So I would hear the Lord say one thing, then I would make an adjustment and I would do something different or I would make it easier. So maybe I, he would say juice only and then I would start juice only and then I would have a meal, right? One meal. So, okay, I only had one meal. So I, I kept modifying and adjusting. And this, and I'm looking at my journal right now, um, this is what became real to me and what I realized was happening in my life. And that is that the grace was running out in the area, in this particular area for me, because God had been giving me grace after grace when he had been telling me to fast and giving me specifics as to how to fast. And I just wasn't, um, well, I wasn't obedient. That's the first uh, thing. And I, I just didn't exercise the, the confidence and the trust um, that I needed to uh, walk out what he told me to do. And I didn't do it. And it was time and time again. And then I realized that grace had run out on that thing. And so I got sick. And uh, in getting sick at the latter part of September, what came to me was I was at a crossroads. And I don't know if any of you have ever had this ex experience. I had not up to that point. But um, as a 53-year-old woman, um, African-American woman with a family history, right? In my family, there's a history of chronic disease, um, high blood pressure, diabetes. There's a history of um, uh, congestive heart failure, all of those things and, and some other things as well. But those things in particular, um, with that being a part of my genetics, um, the Lord made it plain to me if I didn't make an adjustment at that juncture that I was headed in that direction toward those diseases. And of course, I know that God is able and he is faithful. However, I had a part to play. We all have a part to play. It's not enough that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all I could think or imagine. I have a part to play. And I discovered that. And it was um, it was a difficult realization, but I'm grateful for it. And um, God dealt with my heart about it. And he helped me to understand that I had to make an adjustment. And the thing that was so great was that he didn't just tell me how to make, tell me to make the adjustment. He told me how to make the adjustment and enter intermittent fasting for me. Now, everybody, you know what? Intermittent fasting may not be for everyone, but for me, it was literally a godsend. It's what God used to bless my life and to um, turn things around for me uh, in the way of my health. So uh, what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting is fasting, and that is not consuming, right, food. You're not consuming food. And it is the process of not consuming food for a period of time, but then giving yourself a window of time where in which you do eat. And so um, it has many health benefits. And like I said, please, please take a look at visit Dr. Stan Eckberg's channel. I highly recommend him. I am not a paid endorser of his or anything, but I highly recommend him. Um, his page, his channel rather, is very informative. He has a lot of informative videos. But intermittent fasting, you can, you can, now we do, uh, we fast every day, whether we realize it or not, right? Because when we sleep, we're not eating. So that's a type of fast. And that's where the term breakfast comes from, because we break the fast in the morning, generally, when we wake up and we eat. Well, intermittent fasting, you can do it several ways. You can have a window of uh, eating like me, for example, I started having a window of fasting, a 16 hour fasting window and an eight hour eating window. So that made up the 24 hours. So for 16 hours, I would fast and for eight hours I would eat, I would have the opportunity to eat. So that translated into from 12 to 8 p.m., 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. would be the window of time that I would allow myself to eat, the eight-hour window. And then from 8 p.m. until 12 noon the next day would be the time that I would fast. And you're probably wondering, well, what about breakfast? Don't these people say that's the best, you know, the most important meal of the day? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. Because, um, yes, your body gets, my body was used to eating breakfast, but I trained it to 
um, not expect it first thing in the morning when I wake up and I felt great. I had so much more energy um, and I exercised without having breakfast, traditional breakfast, right? I would exercise in the morning um, before noon uh, on an empty stomach and did fantastic. It was better than if, you know, I had had a bite to eat before. So then um, I would exercise also. Uh, so I did a 16-8 intermittent fast. That's how I would eat, how I would eat and fast. And then I would exercise. I would walk one mile a day. That's how I started. I would walk one mile a day with, um, and here's another plug for another YouTuber, and that is Leslie Sasson. Um, she does the walk at home videos and she has a whole team of folks and I would do one of her walk, um, one mile a day walks. Um, and I would do that uh, every day, uh, six days a week. I didn't do any exercise on Sunday. And then um, I did that for several uh, weeks, probably about a month and a half. And the weight just kind of fell off. It was amazing. I wish I had the, the specifics. I don't think, you know, I didn't take a note of, of it in my journal, but I wish I would have had the specifics as to what the weight was, you know, at each juncture. But then what I did was I was like, this is great. It's working. So I'm going to kick it up a notch. So I went to an 18-6 split of an intermittent fast. And so I did 18 hour fast, right? And then six hour, a six hour window of eating. And so that meant that I could eat from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And generally for me, that would just be, for my husband and I, that would just be two meals a day. And so, you know, with no snacking, we didn't snack in between. Again, that, that was another gear and that meant more weight loss. And so that was a blessing and more reduced inflammation and better blood pressure. These are the things that intermittent fasted, fasting um, purchased and bought for me. This is These are the results that happened for me. And then what I discovered was we took a couple trips, right? And um, with the 18.6, I also bumped up my walking from one mile a day to two miles a day with Leslie Sasson's team. And so her team of videos. And so that was exciting. And so again, more weight coming off. Then we traveled in December and January, we traveled to Kent. And if you know anything about traveling, you know, um, it's hard to stay on an eating plan when you're traveling because you have all this delicious food and we enjoy our meals. We love to eat. We like food just because we um, are mindful of our health and all of that doesn't mean we don't like food. We like food and we like good food. And so we were eating things and and I remember coming back from a trip and I had put on five pounds. So I thought, OK, that just means that I need to make sure that I get back on course. And so I got back into my intermittent fasting groove of 18, six and two miles a day walking. And the weight again, like within a week, I think four pounds fell off the first week. And and so then the holidays came right and. I got into a little bit of a plateau and then January, the trip I had in January came in another plateau. So plateaus came and I found myself even, um, and then there were some life changes. We had a death in a family. And again, um, uh, I'm grateful that I didn't gain weight, but I, I wasn't losing anymore either. So I kind of plateaued and here's the kicker that I want to share with you. Something that I discovered that is really blessed me and helped me to be able to beat and break the plateaus that sometimes happen. And that is intermittent fasting one meal a day. I know, right? That's, if you look on the internet, if you look on YouTube, you're going to find a lot of information, a lot of people's testimonials about one meal a day. And they call it OMAD, O-M-A-D, one meal a day. And what I discovered was in one week, again, it broke the plateau. I was able to get back to losing. And all of these things, not just losing weight, that's not the op optimum um, outcome for me. For me, I want inflammation reduced because I don't want the asthma allergy symptoms, right? I want to know that my blood pressure is being either lowered or maintained at the proper level. And all of these things, I want my sleep to be great. All of these are the benefits that I got from intermittent fasting. And I'm not done. I'm only halfway through. So uh, my thumbnail, if you notice, and I'm going to pop up another 
a couple pictures here to show you some of the differences, the befores and afters. But my thumbnail, I was 253, 253 pounds, and I'm six feet. So for some people, they might think, oh, well, you didn't look so big, or maybe you look really big. You know, it, it, may, it may vary with different people. But I know for me, I looked pretty heavy. And so 253 pounds was way more weight than I needed to be carrying, um, especially at the age that I am, um, with all of the debilitating and degenerative diseases that are in my family. So um, I was able to, uh, before I plateaued, or when I plateaued, I was able to go from 253 to 227. I was, no, 225. I got down to 225. And that was a whole 28 pounds. So woohoo and praise the Lord. That was such, I mean, I just, I couldn't believe that I had lost 25 pounds and I was keeping it off, right? And that's the part because I've lost weight before, but I hadn't been able to keep it off. Well, this time I am, there is a different resolve within me and God is providing me with something that I can do. Intermittent fasting is something that I can do. Diets don't even spell the word diet to me. It, they don't work for me. They may work for others, but they don't work for me. And so I don't like the idea of the concept of a diet. But intermittent fasting is something that I can do. And I'm excited to do it. I look forward to it every day. And right now what I'm doing, um, like I said, I'm um, breaking the plateau. And so... Um, because I had plateaued, I'm using OMAD, right? One meal a day to not just break the plateau, but help to propel me to my goal. I still have, what is it? Uh, about 20, let's see. I have about 25 more pounds to go until I reach my goal. My goal is 200 pounds. I'm hoping to get under that, but a six foot, if you think of a six foot man, right, that's 200 pounds, you you think of a perfect specimen of a man being six foot, 220 pounds, that's fine, right? So I figure for me, I've been 200 pounds before and 200 pounds looks really good on me and I feel really good at 200 pounds. So we'll see. That's what I'm targeting. Um, I may go, uh, you know, if the Lord says the same, uh, I may be able to dip under 200. Ideally, I would like to dip under 200 so that I can, um, 200 pounds, so that I can have room for wiggle. You know, if I take a trip and I put on five pounds, I don't want to be 205. I would rather be, you know, 200, um, like start at 195, go on a trip and come back at 200 if, if I were to put on some pounds. So that is my intermittent, intermittent fasting uh, story. It really did save my life. I say that because I was sure enough, in my opinion, um, on the road to degenerative diseases, the ones that are in my family. And um, I had all the tests and everything from the doctors to, to support that I was on my way. But when I went back in February, glory to God of 2022, praise God, my reports, blood work was great. Reports were wonderful. Um, my doctor even, there's a uh, some type of uh, new uh, I guess a program that they can put your blood work numbers in and your height and weight and things of that nature. And it can, um, estimate, uh, what your risk factor is for a heart episode. And he did that. My doctor did that. And my risk factor for a heart, heart episode in the next 10 years is less than 10%. So I'm excited about that. That's wonderful to me. Wonderful news, especially considering my um, family's history. So I am encouraged and I hope you guys are encouraged by this um, short testimonial to maybe jumpstart your own, right? Your own uh, journey to good health and better health. And we can always be better. It is, you can be as slim as a rail and not be healthy, right? You want to make sure, we all want to make sure that we don't have a lot of inflammation in our bodies. And the other thing is one other thing that I discovered through all of this intermittent fasting and exercising is that it's helpful to take a probiotic. 
Now, I don't want to veer off too much into that, but um, do the research, find out, do a little um, Google search, find out uh, what the best probiotics are on the market, find out what people are saying um, works for them in the way of probiotics, but get one in your life. Begin taking a probiotic because we have good and bad bacteria in our belly. And most of our sicknesses and diseases, uh, uh, the specialists say, uh, come from our belly. And so we want to make sure we have a good biome in our belly, a good um, bacteria, bacteria balance, right? Good and bad bacteria in our belly. So Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I hope you hang around to the very end because I have some more pictures um, uh, before and after, maybe even some meals. I don't know because I'm on this OMAD and um, and we'll see. We'll see what's happening with that. I'm excited about the OMAD uh, approach to intermittent fasting. That's the newest thing that I'm tackling right now. One meal a day. And what that means is I literally fast like it ends up being like 22 hours a day. And I give myself a two hour window from like four to six where I eat my one meal and I may have a little, maybe some tea or something else. I may have something, but two hours and at six o'clock, I shut it down. And so that's the goal. And I'm hopeful that by doing that, um, I've only been doing it for a couple of days now, but continuing on with it going forward, I'll move the needle and get more weight loss. So God bless you guys. I want to hear from y'all. I want you all to speak back to me. Tell me what your experiences are. What are you doing? Are you trying anything? Are you are you on your own health loss journey? Are you on your own um, get healthy journey? What is it that God is speaking to your heart? What are you doing to uh, be here, right? For your children and grandchildren. That's what I think about. I'm, um, that's the thing that motivates me. I want to live as long as God has ordained for me to be in the earth. I don't want to participate in an early demise, right? So that's uh, that's what motivates me. So God bless you guys. Have an amazing week in the Lord. And we will see you next week on Times of Refreshing with Joy and Baby. God bless you.